Hi, I am Dr. Yogeshwar A. Virappa. I am a senior consultant orthopedic surgeon practicing at People Tree Hospital at Chris, which is located at Kalyan Nagar. I also have my clinic named Janvi Orthopedic Center at Rajarajeshwari Nagar. The most common complication in a total knee replacement would be infection, followed by a deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, implant failure, and hence and so on so on. In order to avoid infection, we do a lot of screening. So prior to surgery, we would check his diabetic status. We would check either any open wound anywhere in his knee around the knee where we'll be doing the surgery. We'd like to take a medical history to rule out any upper respiratory infection or a urinary tract infection. These are all the precautions which we take prior to the surgery. During the surgery, the precautions would be a sterile environment. We usually do the knee replacement surgeries in a laminar flow theater where even the air what we breathe out would not be reaching the patient. The flow would be such that there would be a flow from the top of the theater where it will be falling on the patient and it will be moving on through the four vents. In that way, whatever air we breathe also doesn't go to the patient. In addition to this, we wear something called as a hood or you can call it or uh, call it as a space suit which we will be wearing, which will be covering entire body. So in this way, we'll be doing a knee replacement surgery. Post-op, we usually give follow the standard protocol of an antibiotic coverage about three doses of antibiotic is what we give following which we will be doing a regular dressing at the end of three days five days and at the end of 15 days ideally we do knee replacement single knee replacement in one sitting in if the patient is medically fit if our anesthetist cardiologist feel that the patient is able to sustain the duration of surgery we can even also do a bilateral total knee replacement in a same sitting. We usually do it regularly on a daily basis.